What makes a good photograph? Well, that's quite a question, Carl, as you, a great photographer, would know. Um, it's the light, of course, and the light as it falls on the subject matter that you find interesting, exciting, beautiful, something that you really love. And if you're taking a picture of something that you really, really, really care about, you can't take a bad picture. You can't take a bad picture. So that's what I think makes a, a, a good photograph, you know. So just keep both eyes open. <laughs> All right. Question number two. Why do I like being a photographer? And it also makes you f seek out beautiful things. It makes you look for the beautiful or the interesting. And it keeps your eyes peeled. It's so easy to get, oh, become a numbskull and insensitive to the beauty that's unfolding around you in the sky, the trees, the birds, life itself, the people. Everybody's beautiful. Everybody's a sculpture. No sculpture ever came close to depicting any one single human being's beauty. That's what I would say is... Uh, why I like being a photographer. It makes you look for beautiful things. Uh, question number three. What is the most important instrument in a band or a jam session? The piano, drums, the sax, or the vocals? Well, by definition, it's a band. So they all are of equal importance. And if the musicians remember that and try to play with each other, you, you can't do it all the time. You want to get your licks in and, and impress the, uh, the audience members. And, uh, but always return to the idea that we're all in this together. The vocalist, the saxophone player, the drummer, the pianist, and all the other musicians. It's a band. It's a band. So uh, be a band. Band together. Make it a harmony. And that's what I think is the most important thing uh, at a jam session or anywhere, really. Question four. Name two memorable projects you've been working on in voiceover or as a voiceover artist or actor. Name two memorable projects I've worked on as a voiceover actor or as an actor, just as a voiceover actor, I guess. Um, well, of course, I'm, I'm my, my most uh, extensive experience was in re doing the narration of the audio Bible called the Bible experience. It's online. You can easily find it. A lot of it's on YouTube. I did the narrative of the Old Testament, which took several months to record and we worked on it. It was a fascinating project. It's, uh, I believe, probably the largest selling audio Bible in history. All the great black actors, Sam Jackson, Forrest Whitaker, oh, Angela Bassett, LeVar Burton, Commons on it, Queen Latifah, and over 300 black actors did voices. But I did the narration or the narrative of the Old Testament and uh, probably, I don't know, in the neighborhood of some large percentage of that Bible is in my voice, the Old Testament anyway. And uh, that's one project I'm quite proud of. As an actor, I've done all kinds of... Uh, theater stuff. I was in the original beauty shop. Uh, we did 50 city tours. I played the Frenchman Francois. I've done several books on CD and oh, all sorts of things. You know, in the voice business, um, it's not what you say you did. It's how you say what you did. So you be the judge <laughs> and call me if you need me. Um, let's see. The next question is, uh, Tell me about a musician that the world stage has lost and what characteristics you want everyone to remember and carry on in the community. Well, this day in May, uh, we lost Rose Gales. <sighs> Rose Gales. She was truly our queen of the world stage. Rose Gales, what can I say? She was the wife of the great bassist Larry Gales. She uh, was at least into her 90s. It's to, to, uh, she's pretty well into her 90s, and we lost her today. She, uh, was the, she ran the jam session at the world stage probably for over 20 years, maybe for in, uh, nearly 30 years. 
I know over 20 years, Rose Gales was here every Sunday night. She was a piano player extraordinaire and a wonderful person. And although she was a little bitty thing, you know, she really commanded her stage very well. We loved Rose. I mean, Rose was the greatest, really the greatest. She was loved the piano more than any piano player I've ever heard known. She didn't like anybody else messing with the piano when she was in the house. She wanted to play the piano. And, and I, I used to tell her she was a jealous piano player. She don't want nobody else fooling with the piano if she's around. Well, we lost her today. And as far as characteristics she embodied, she embodied the characteristics of a soldier, of a trooper. You know, well into her 90s, every Sunday, she would come to the world stage and host our jam session and play the piano throughout. And not only that, every Sunday, she prepared food. <laughs> she prepared food and would feed the entire audience. Every Sunday, she cooked food and brought it to the stage well into her 90s. These are characteristics as implied by her actions and her faithfulness to the world stage that would imbue any community with great strength and happiness to even know someone like her. Rose, we miss you so much. We loved you, dear, and we will continue to love you. And you can come by and visit us at the world stage and we'll still be waiting on you. We'll keep the piano bench warm. And that's uh, the person I would like to mention. Um, the next question was for some words of encouragement for the people uh, housebound and, and uh, dealing with this quarantine and being shut in here in L.A. Well, um, you have to know that there's always a silver lining. In L.A. alone, um, we've seen the air, air be, be much cleaner because the traffic was down. Um, there are wild animals walking in the streets. I saw a coyote walking down the middle of a, ma of a street in the middle of the neighborhood. There are always, there's always a silver lining. And people are getting closer to the families. They're talking to the children. People are staying home and working on those projects. We see that Mankind is not in control. Mankind is not in control. Trust in the things that never end and the things that are in control. Trust in those things and take good care of your loved ones. Show love wherever you can. Show love wherever you can. Give those that you do encounter in your family words of encouragement. Count yourself fortunate. Many people are suffering right now and have lost loved ones in this, this pandemic, but count your blessings that you have that love and you have those loved ones and take good care of them. Restore your sense of community because it's your community that uh, will get us all through this. All right, uh, the next question was... Um, what, what would I like my friends to say if they were talking behind my back? What would I like them to say? And if they were truly my friends, I would like, of course, like them to say, well, Matt's a swell guy. What a guy. What a nice fellow. What a hardworking, uh, good guy he is. And uh, that's something on that order. I do, that Matt works hard and tries to do his best. That's what I would like them to say, even though they might not li might not always be uh, positive things they might say. But if they can say that, I'd be content with that. <laughs> and once again, my full name is Matt Marion Gibson III. And uh, my job titles, I've worked at the world stage for 18 years as a facilitator, as a uh, building facilities manager as a host and MC and chief cook and bottle washer at one time. We've um, moved across the street from our former address. We're now at 4321 Degnan Boulevard. So for the last 18 years, that has um, 
That this has been my preoccupation is serving the musicians of Los Angeles here at the world stage. I've done many things. I'm an actor, as I mentioned in my previous comments. I uh, I was in the original cast of Beauty Shop, whose um, mention is made in the African American Museum in Washington D.C. as one of the the first hugely successful black touring theater productions. We did over 800 performances of that show, and uh, people like Tyler Perry came in the wake of the great Shelley Garrett, who pretty much started the black uh, theater ex uh, expansion. And uh, I could go on, but um, basically that's it. And um, I hope uh, this is sufficient for your needs, Carl, and all good things, brother. I'm going to try and re-record. I'll send this to you now, but I'm going to try and re-record it at home. Um, this is kind of an echoey space. I'm at the world stage now. As I said before, Carl, we lost Rose Gales today. I think you met Rose. She was the little woman uh, who was at the Sunday Jam sessions for years and years. And... We've lost her, and uh, today, she, but um, she's lost, but uh, she ain't missing, you know, and uh, because she's right here in our hearts, you know, she's not, she's not physically with us, and somebody said she might have been 98 years old or approaching 100, so we had her a good while, and we'll all be together again one day, and we'll be together a lot longer than we're apart, and we'll be together sooner rather than later. But there's nothing sweeter in the whole universe than being reunited with your loved ones after a brief separation. So I'll talk to you soon, buddy, and I'll send this over to you. Peace. Bye.